Welcome to Attican Plays Railway Empire. All right, welcome to part two of our revisit of the uh, free mode um, game up in um, up in the uh, in the east, or particularly up here in the Midwest. So we've started out in Toledo, and quick review: we we did rapid expansion strategy to start. So we went Toledo, Grand Rapids, and over to Pittsburgh, Buffalo, all the way to Syracuse. Then we came back over came down from Grand Rapids to Indianapolis and to Louisville, and to make sure we had enough um, rail traffic, uh, we went all the way down to Knoxville. And so you can, we kind of, this is kind of our territory, but we've invaded uh, a couple of our competitors. That's okay, and we'll do it some more as we go along. So we have pretty much virtually the same thing we did on the first pass. The only difference is this museum is in Grand Rapids rather than Louisville. But all this other stuff looks very, very familiar to us. And so what we did, we knew we had to do that transporting mail. So all of our lines here, these are express goods lines, and they're all uh, priority mail. So mail's first priority, grab all the mail you can, then fill up with passengers uh, to as available, and take off. So now, in this one, we're going to talk about how we're going to grow these cities. And we're actually going to uh, make an attempt to grow Pittsburgh, Toledo, Grand Rapids, Indianapolis, and Louisville all out of the same infrastructure. So what we're going to do is set up our, we'll have eventually two warehouses. We're going to start with our, let's call it our phase one warehouse. I'm going to pick a good spot for it. I think two, three, four. I think a little up this way would probably be good. It's not quite central. Central would be more in here, but I think phase two will probably go down there. So here's going to be our warehouse. And let's uh, name this thing so we don't get it confused. So this is going to be our Midwest, if I can type, Midwest Phase 1 warehouse. Phase 1 meaning phase 1 of your growth. And we're going to put in there the first six items that we come to in a warehouse. So that's raw materials, uh, wheat, meat, corn, logs, and then finished goods or manufactured goods, meat, and beer. And we're going to hook up all of our cities. And given that the, the main things we are putting in here are a little above us, so to speak, we're going to use the bottom two for our cities and the top two uh, tracks up here, platforms on the warehouse, for our... Um, um, Help me, it's a big word. Uh, <laughs> raw materials. <laughs> okay, so let's run a line from Toledo. Put in signals. Let's do our. We we'll have to have some crossing here. Uh, obviously, it's going to be impossible to run all these down here without crossing over something. But we'll run Grand Rapids down. And we're going to have a corn line and a. That doesn't matter. Let's go down here. We want Grand Rapids to run. Actually, one thing I forgot to do. Shame on me.
we need. There, that can go back to Grand Rapids. And he might as well go over here and do it. Okay, that brings Grand Rapids in, and we're going to have one more city coming in from this side. That's going to be um, Pittsburgh, but first we got to see if we can connect this back up so that Toledo can play. And I think I've cut Toledo off a little bit, so I'm going to, have to back them up a little bit more. Because I want to have one more line coming off of this, if it will. And if it won't, there we go, good. And this one is going to go. Back to Pittsburgh. I just love the restriction of the two bridges. Okay, that'll work. And if you'll notice, one thing that's lovely about this early expansion strategy where you go out and set up these lines really fast is we're not really thinking much about money anymore. We could, you know, I'm doing a ton of building here and there's still money left and I can just stop for, unpause it for just a moment and build funds back up quickly. So. It's a great way to get your economy up and moving. Okay. So now we have to live. We have three of our cities connected. We've got two more to go. And we want them to come into the last one down here. Good. I want to make sure I can get a line off of that to go to Louisville. And then we can double track this one.
back to Indianapolis. Let's gather up some money. You can see how quickly that money builds up, almost to a million. And we'll build our line, do our signals. Do the supply tower. Cut this one up just a little bit more so we can have more trains. Okay, <clears throat> now we want to run Louisville up through there and run in next to that guy, next to that line we just built. So here we go. Perfect. Okay, that takes care of all five cities are going into our warehouse, and that's a fairly clean, that doesn't look too bad. Now we need to bring goods in, and we'll bring those into this top one here. And let's see, we're going to do cattle, wheat, logs, and corn, which is down here. So corn is going to have to go do a little up and over. In fact, I may merge it in with my other lines here. I think I'm going to run wheat and corn in on this side over here and loop the logs over so I have two coming in from each side. And I don't want to over overdo it, so to speak. So I want to see if I can get a line that'll go crossover without costing two billion dollars. Well, that looks good. that into uh, our track. Let's run into track four. Uh, 
actually got the bread. I think I'll run three in from this side. I've changed my mind. I'll run logs and wheat and corn. Plug them all into this little um, receptacle, so to speak, right here. That'll work. I don't think these will pick up. Nope. So we want our corn to plug right into this system. Okay, we'll give plenty of room. And I want that the signal down here. Tilt to cross over. That'll be its merge and then its return. like that. Oh, did I goof up? That's going to have to be its return. Sorry. I forgot side I needed to build on. So, we'll go down like this. Now 
and I have goofed up. Alright, let's rethink that. I'll tell you what we're going to do, we're going to use a different style. So it's going to come down and merge. This is also going to be its return lane, and we'll use this other alter alternative style we can use for that, which is just have a little single connector point there, and it'll come back on this line, pick up um, supplies down here, come up like so. Alright, so let's see where we are. Here's our corn double lined. Sorry, sorry, sorry. A little heavy handed on those scrolls, aren't I? Oh, I didn't know that things were going so bad for your business. Okay. Let's give it a few interim spots. And when corn comes down here, what it's going to do now is come in to here and stop to queue up to get on. Then it'll go off, and when it goes off, we want to make sure it has enough room to get completely off. Okay. So we've got corn coming in. We've got wheat coming in. Let's get logs coming in. Logs might be a little tight. Hmm. That would actually work. And we could put a signal. When logs get them on, it'll be pretty straightforward. When they come off, we want to say if you're clear, you want this road to be clear up to here. Same thing here. Clear up to there. Okay, that's three of our goods, and we've still got one more, one more. Cattle. That should be easy. And we'll use the one line that hasn't been used. Fly tower and signals. And now, that actually is fairly clean looking for all those lines running every which way. Now let's start pumping in some goods. Let's start with cattle.
Now let's do wheat. And now we can start going out. We don't want security guards on this. We want security guards on the uh, ones from the cities because they'll actually make a profit. And let's do logs. And we may have to run it. Because of the short line, I'm going to say it doesn't have to be full. Because otherwise, it, we could have a traffic jam on the logs. And corn. Whoops. Okay, let's get our city started here. You will recoup your cost with this locomotive. He's only running on one side. That tells me I didn't do a switch a signal. I didn't. Sloppy, sloppy, sloppy. 
And did I do a signal on this end? Uh, of course not. Now I'd like to run several trains down through there, so we're going to need There we go. Let's see how this is working. Well, we're getting meat and beer. We're getting okay. We're getting everything we need to grow. Now let's just check our balance here. We got. All right, we're ready for textiles already. It's time for cloth and clothing and cotton. It's already time for our second warehouse. So I'm going to stop right there. We set up one warehouse. That warehouse is going to start five cities, provided we keep enough trains on it and bump up the industries enough, which. Uh, the private owner should do for the most part for us, and we may intervene here. And while I'm speaking here, let me catch up on my research and employees. Oh, we could use a stoker and a conductor, that'd be nice. But not that guy. Okay, so let's stop right there. That's our, our first phase of, of building these cities to grow. That's this warehouse that's going to get uh, um, goods, manufactured goods, and raw materials into it. And they're going to move back and forth between the cities. We'll go through a kind of a balancing phase where we make sure we've got the right number of trains running uh, for all these. Uh, obviously, you know, like down here to, well, that's Knoxville, which is growing, by the way. Look at this. We can put something in here. I can't explain why your employees suddenly want to work for me either. Do we want to? I'm not ready to go down our shucks. But anyway, um, we've got... Very low sat right now, but that's going to pick up when it, when this starts starts running. And these guys starting to it'll, it'll pick up, and these these all five cities should start growing. And we're ready to move into we need to move to cotton and uh, clothing quickly. So we'll do that next. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I hope you get the idea. We're moving goods in and out of the cities through this warehouse. It's just like a central hub for four of our raw materials and two of our finished products. Then our next warehouse is going to be set up probably down here just below it. That'll be in our next uh, video. And we'll run cotton in there. We'll make uh, cotton, textiles, cloth. Um, and then we'll pick up a couple more of these materials. Like uh, maybe we'll do, could even do alcohol, uh, sugar, and uh, fruit because they're all close by. Yeah, actually, that'd be good. So we can then... Uh, have the ability to, to create alcohol and uh, have our clothing and cloth exchanged amongst the cities. So you can see here we're getting this um, either meat and beer and text. And we also need one more thing. We've got only got one beer and we've got lots and lots of people making meat. So I'm going to see. I've got plenty of money. 
let's go down here. Let's buy this meat industry before he gets too successful. There we go. Hopefully we'll win this bid. I forgot we had competitors. I thought I'd just get it. Okay. And of course, as soon as we buy it, we're going to demolish it. And we're going to put in another brewery because we're low on breweries. And where do I want to put it? Over here, I think. So that brewery will start uh, using some of the wheat and give us a little more beer going into uh, here because we're definitely getting more meat than beer. But, but looking good. Again, I'll, we'll cut it off here. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it helps you become a better player. And I hope you'll join me for the next installment on this, um, on this particular pass through the uh, free mode on Railway Empire. Thank you.